Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Extend Script tutorial. In this one, we're going to be going over a cool topic called Bridge Talk. And if you have Extend Script, you can go to Help and JavaScript Tools Guide CC to load up the JavaScript Tools Guide, which in Chapter 5 it talks about inter-application communication with scripts and an object called Bridge Talk. Now, Bridge Talk essentially allows you to open up applications that aren't already open. Um, it allows you to send commands, scripts, and many other things to make sure things are running smoothly. So excuse my voice as I'm recovering from a bit of a cold, but we're going to be making a script that opens up After Effects, runs any bit of code we want, or can run actually a script file. So let's go ahead and run this. What we're going to do is just click on F5 to run it, and it's going to load up After Effects version 15. You can actually have specific control over which version of the application you're launching, and I'll show you how to do that as well. But what it does is it goes ahead and launches After Effects, and it runs this test script code just saying alert test. So we can go ahead and send commands from one application to another, whether we're in After Effects and we want to open up Extend Script, or After Effects and open up Premiere, or the other way around. We can do that and send bits of code as well. So to get started, let's open up a new JavaScript file, and we'll just create a new variable with whatever name we want. You can spell it out, or I'll just say Bridge Talk, and we're going to set this equal to a new Bridge Talk object. Now again, if you don't have the guide loaded up, make sure you're in chapter 5, which everything starts in. If you want, you can go ahead and just search through every bit of code that you can apply. What we really want to do is send messages to another application. And these messages can include a body with script code that can automate things in other applications and then send us data back if we need to. So you can see there's some example code to create a new bridge talk object just like we just did. And then what we want to do is set up what target application we're aiming for. What do we want to check is if it's open, and then if it's not open, what do we want to open? So the first thing we're going to do in our script is an if statement. We want to check if the actual bridge talk object is running. So what we'll do is we'll say if bridge talk dot is running. But of course, we want to say if it's not running, we want to launch the application. So if it's running, that means things are going well. But if it's not running, or we invert the logic with an exclamation mark, uh, then we want to do something. We can go ahead and search inside of the guide for is running. And what we need to include inside of the parentheses is a specifier. We can go to page 191 to see all the specifiers. And this is basically the application we're looking at. Um, whether it's just the application name itself, like After Effects, Bridge, Extend Script Toolkit, Premiere, etc. We can call the specific application that is sort of defaultly installed. So what we can say is inside of double quotation, say After Effects. So if Bridge Talk is not running After Effects, we want to run After Effects. In order to run a program using Bridge Talk, we're going to grab our Bridge Talk object and we're going to launch something. And again, if we just type in dot launch inside of the guide here, you can see we get the launch command. We need to give it a specifier and optionally is where if we want to launch in the background or bring it up to the front of the window. So what we can do is then say if Bridge Talk is not running After Effects, what we want to do is launch After Effects. We'll give it the specifier. So let's go ahead and just run this and see how it works. We'll make sure all of our versions of After Effects are closed and click on F5. So you can see it's loading up After Effects CC. This is a much older version. It looks like it's loading. This is actually version 12, the earliest version I have installed on my computer. So what we need to do now is to get more specific instead of just saying After Effects and maybe give it the version number so we can load the right version. So if I go back to the application specifiers, you can see we have our After Effects, but if we scroll down further, it tells us how we can get specific versions of the installed application. So in my case, I know that I have After Effects 15 installed on my computer. So after After Effects in all of the specifiers, actually, what we should do is create a variable for our specifier. That way we can just change it once and everything after that will change as well. So we'll set that equal to After Effects and change this so that it uses our specifier variable. Now we can just type in our dash and then 9.0 is the example it gives. We wanna launch 15.0. And let's go ahead and try that. And as you can see, we're now getting our newer version of After Effects to load, which is the newest version I have on this computer. So now we have full access and we've launched After Effects. How can we go ahead and send it some commands to do things? Well, the way we're going to do that is first by using the dot target method. This is how we basically use our bridge talk to look and target an application. If we're running this from extend script, what we need to do is say 
look over at After Effects and then do something. So we're gonna take our bridge talk variable, which I'm just gonna modify to be BT here. We'll take our bridge talk variable with our new bridge talk. And then what we're gonna do is say dot target. And we're gonna set the target again equal to our specifier. So luckily we have a variable for that now, After Effects version 15. And now we should be looking at that version of the application. Then what we're gonna do is actually give it a body. So we're gonna call our bridge talk object and say dot body. And the body is sort of what we're gonna populate in terms of information. We're gonna send it sort of a letter and inside of that letter there's a body of text or script code in our case and we're going to be using that to launch it. So what I'm gonna do is just set this equal to um, in single quotes, um, just some JavaScript code saying alert Hello there. And we'll make sure that JavaScript code is complete and enclosed in single quotes. So this is the script code we're gonna send it inside of the body. And the last thing we need to do to sort of execute that body code is to grab our um, bridge talk object again and say send. And we're gonna use parentheses because it's a method. So you can see we can send the message by calling the send and this will allow everything that is inside the message to be executed. So I'm, a, I'm gonna keep After Effects loaded up here Remember this code is only to check if it's up and running. If it's up and running, then great. And we're gonna go ahead and grab it as the target and send this code. So when we run this, we should get it to alert hello there. As you can see, it seems pretty simple, but we've actually managed to go from one application to the next and send this code. If I were to close After Effects and go ahead and run it, we'll wait for it to load up here. We're then going to get After Effects to load up and then say hello there. Uh, one thing you might want to consider doing that I did in the original example is using a sleep method. This will put the script on hold for a few seconds while things are loading, but this is really dependent on how you're communicating. If you need to go back and forth between an application uh, several times, then you might want to use the built-in global sleep function just to wait a couple of seconds before doing anything. But in this case, as you can see, I didn't add any wait time and it still ran all the code. So there are a lot of other things that are useful and can be done um, using the bridge talk. You can go through the guide here and check out all of the things you can do, including passing objects, uh, DOM objects, and other things built into the bridge talk class. But one other thing I wanna show you how to do is to actually use a script file that is already on our computer and then send that to the application of our choice. So the way I'm gonna do this is create a new variable called script file. And we'll set this equal to a new file object. I have this uh, simple muzzle flash generator script that I want to run. So that way we can open up After Effects with our script and then it will automatically generate a muzzle flash. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy the location and the file name into this variable here. And this was now gonna be our script file variable. And what we're gonna do is grab our script file and open it up to read it. And then we're gonna grab our script file and read it. And then we're gonna grab our script file again and close it so we make sure it's not open still after all this process. So basically what we're doing is we're making sure we have a valid script file. We're gonna open it up to read it. And now we're gonna create a variable called script code and set that equal to our read function here, which is basically gonna take all of the code inside of any script we give it and convert it into this variable. And now instead of sending this alert hello there, I'm gonna send it all of the code from this actual script file on our computer. So if we go ahead and close After Effects and run it, it's gonna now pop up here with actually a pre-made composition because it's run the script and it's generated a muzzle flash for us using a previously made script. So yeah, that's gonna do it for this week's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. That's how to use Bridge Talk and communicate between Adobe applications using ExtendScript. Of course, make sure to check out the JavaScript Tools Guide under Help and JavaScript Tools Guide. This will give you all the information you need, including all the included methods and classes inside of Bridge Talk. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave the thumbs up. And if you'd like to be notified of new videos coming out every Monday and Thursday, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.